Amos versus Northern Fools by Bayo Uluwa Sonny. I don't believe in one Nigeria. I don't believe in 2023 elections. I believe one Nigeria is not possible because it is not doable. We are not one. We will never be. I believe Nigeria will never know peace, progress and prosperity until and unless we go our separate ways. A friend sent me a video of press conference of unknown Fulani group, Northern Consensus Movement, in the long repetitive whining by the spokesman of the movement. He said it did not has a population of 120 million and Fulani has 40 million. He said by adding the two numbers, it gives the North 160 million people. He said Nigeria population is a 210 million. He said by subtracting 160 million from 210 million, the South population is 70 million. He said there was no way the South could defeat the North. No doubt. The witch of Endo must have given him the population stats or statistics. He concludes his ramblings by saying Southern governors or any social cultural group could not um, twist, intimidate, or coerce the North. He said North could elect, would elect a fresh Northern president by February 2023 and would not abandon their remaining four years. The fool was referring to the four years that former President Musa Yaradua didn't complete before he died. In an entity is ignorant of what the 1999 constitution says about succession when a serving president is in, um, incapacitated or dies. Some northerners are illiterate, uneducated, uncivilized, unintelligent, incompetent, incapable, unexposed, violent, no regard to the rule of law, but with muddy, morbid allegiance to jihadism. When it comes to politics of divide and conquer, they are smart, the intelligent southerners, some with PhDs and other higher academic qualifications. The southern cowards are betrayers, traitors, crumbs, kissers, whose eyes are bigger than their stomachs. Normal northern fools take advantage of southerners' disunity and dictate terms of political engagements that makes them kingmakers, which is why the northern fools have succeeded beyond their widest dreams to perpetuate their hegemony on the south. The unity of northerners have never been in doubt when it comes to politics. They stick together no matter what. They are not bothered whether or not the northern possess leadership qualities and abilities for the presidency. All they are interested in is power, power at the center. By maintaining power at the center, they will control the resources of the whole country. They will divert these resources to the north. They will steal as much as they want. All these malpractices and malfeasances drive Buhari's regime. The southern cowards are only concerned about their stomachs. They are more than willing to say their best right for a cup of the Fulani uh, staple tool. When northern Fools ask southern cowards to jump. Southern cowards will say how high. Each time the southern governors take a stand on burning national issues, the northerners are quick to condemn and castigate them. Immediately, the southern governors will revert into their cuckoos. But lately, it seems the southern governors have woken from their trance. They can see clearly now that the evil is off or the veil is off. Henceforth, they must maintain unanimity and display unity on matters that affect their own people. They must stand their ground that the South must produce the next president. They must hear their toga of timidity, cowardice, subservience, and other slavery attitudes. They must stick together, let heaven fall. They should heed the warning of America's Benjamin Franklin. Who says we must all hang together or most assuredly we shall hang separately? Okay, uh, this is coming from a bio, Ulua Somi. A uh, very, very short and precise. Uh, everybody is aware of what he has said, but the issue is that is the continuity of the southerners to be united, to be more united. That is where the problems lies. 
with all the things that they think that they are getting or they are gaining for themselves because of their person, personal interest, how far have they gone in life? Where? Fearless and careless not versus careful and paranoid south. This is how best to describe it. Hmm. Many southerners use Western education as a measure of intelligence as opposed to IQ level. This is why they are always wondering how come northerners become key players in Nigeria policies, even though the South has more educated, more uh, more educated and more intelligent and uh, more intelligent. You need to understand that human intelligence is de uh, determined by its IQ level, and that is from DNA. The question is that it is not a smartness; it is just wickedness. When people come together to unite, the Bible even says that can two agree except they are in agreement. You know, when people are, are, have agreed to do evil, you see, you think that, that is to me, because this their unity or coming together, the northern uh, uh, coming together or believing in themselves, I don't, I, don't, I don't cherish it. To me, those who are not deep thinkers will be thinking that ah, they are united. How can you be united? How can you be doing things together if it is not evil? At the end of the day, to sum it up with their unity, with whatever they are doing, divide and rule and what have you, where has it landed them? Because if your people are doing well, your region is doing well, you know, people can recognize, you know, reckon with you, with the good things you are doing, well, with your smartness, it would have been a good thing. But a situation by it's making you worse, you are even worse off. Then tell me, is that stupidity or wickedness you call that smartness those who are even championing them yeah they are cooperating they are working together they are even deceiving they are even using it to deceive themselves because how can you be united and you cannot boast of good thing coming up see what is happening in that place now all of them will quicker it people will die people will mourn people are going through a lot of a, a lot of stuff and their people will not talk and you call that is that not wickedness you see children roaming about the streets they are not even living a better life and there's no hope ahead they will not talk they won't say anything and you call that a uh, being united you will see them with a uh, all these uh, bandits they are even con they are even supporting and defending banditry and you call that what see the kind of things happening in that place is that the kind of what what is that the kind of a uh, unity you want to emulate because i don't know they are not even they are not even useful to themselves let us look at it holistically whatever you are doing that is not affecting you positively then of what you use is that thing that one needs to be emulating in as much the southerners they have their own problems but that kind of unity i don't even i don't subscribe to that i do not if you do i do not i don't see that as a unity the unity that you cannot even boast of so guys let's say your opinion and know your thoughts on this